Yeah, everybody. Today we're hiking in the painted mines, pan painted mines mine. in Colorado. Kind of like a little out of Colorado Springs. Yeah. So we're just kind of hiking around, doing our thing, enjoying the sunshine. <laughs> it looks warm. It is kind of warm. But we're still wearing coats. <laughs> but the wind gets it pretty cold. So hope you enjoy it. This week we traveled from Penrose, Colorado to Denham Springs, Louisiana. We traveled approximately 1,219 miles or 1,962 kilometers. This is where we spent a few days while we were in Colorado. The location is about 20 minutes off the freeway, but the free price tag is great and we didn't see any other campers. Soon enough, we're back on the road heading south, hopeful to start leaving the cold weather and the snow far, far behind us. Tonight we stopped at a rest stop, hopeful to see the big celestial event with Saturn and Venus. Instead, we ended up basking in the warm glow of the overhead lights and watching some kind of lights blink on and off far in the distance. Our adventures the next day turned out to be one of our favorites so far on this trip. Texas, you find this place on Hip Camp called Llama Land. It costs only $28 tonight and they give you a lot of bread. And we can park, we're parked over there. <laughs> Judy owns this farm and she is awesome. I failed to get her picture. Oh, hello. This is not Breezy. The only one whose name I caught was Breezy. What's your name? Oh, my name is Llama. Are you Breezy? Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Well. <laughs> okay. You know that Steve was holding out, don't you? Oh, hello, sister. I don't have any. Here it is. We had a great camping area that was fenced off from the llamas. Judy said the llamas are just curious and would crowd all around us at camp if they weren't fenced off. One of us fed Pumpkin the Cat leftover tuna fish and we developed a friend for life. 
After a restful night of sleep while listening to Pumpkin moan and groan for Noel on our back deck, it was time for us to hit the road again. The front gate was broken, so we followed Judy and her Polaris towards the rear of the property where Judy and her husband live. After saying our goodbyes, Judy gave us directions about following the path around her house that led to a private bridge that she and her husband used when they're exiting the property. Our next stop was the Kitachi National Forest in Louisiana. The weather turned to rain overnight, so we retreated to a light show and pounding rain. Just as an FYI, pounding rain in a camper truck is pretty dang loud. Bring your earmuffs. There's just something about driving over concrete bridges and roads in Louisiana that helps us find our internal rhythm. The good Lord forbid that we try to take a drink of coffee while we're driving. We soon arrived at Elena's house, Noelle's sister, just in time for us to celebrate Christmas with her. It was good to be with family for the holiday. Even though we're far from home, we're still close to our family. Join us next week when we'll continue working our way towards the Gulf Coast and we visit a local swamp.